Hello guys, so today I would like to talk about the types of stackers that exist um, in the stacking community. I hope this video can help you identify what kind of stacker you might be and what type of stacker maybe you would like to be in the future. So firstly there are flippers. Now the objective of the flipper is to make money from gold and silver price movements. They do this by buying the most liquid, the most recognizable, low premium bullion at the lowest possible price and then once the price appreciates substantially they sell their bullion for a profit. After with the proceeds of the sale, they can invest in other assets such as real estate, stocks or bonds to earn passive income and to diversify their portfolio. The fact that they constantly flip between assets in such a manner is the reason why they are known as flippers. So their strategy boils down to buy low, sell high. But what kind of problem can this type of stacker encounter due to this strategy? The main problem is time. It may take a while for the price of gold and silver to go up. It may take months or years until they can liquidate their stack. Investing in gold and silver is a long-term strategy. It is not a get-rich-quick scheme but rather a don't get poor quick scheme. Now secondly we have collectors uh, or collectors or numismatists. Um, collectors collect gold coins or silver coins for different reasons. Some collectors do it to make money, some do it as a hobby and some do it a bit of both. Typically collectors buy rare old ancient gold coins or silver coins or new low mintage collector coins uh, usually they begin selling these coins when the demand for them the, the demand for them picks up for example let's say a titanic team gold coins are released by the royal mint with low mintage numbers and if a new movie about the Titanic is released then there will be a spark of demand or interest for Titanic themed coins. This naturally catalyzes up the value of these coins and subsequently when they sell they make a hefty profit by pocketing the spread between the original bought price and the new appreciated price. The main issue that collectors face is a liquidation. It is a lot more difficult to sell numismatic coins than normal bullion. They can only sell collector coins to private investors at auctions or eBay as selling to a gold dealer may be unprofitable as they only pay for pure gold content value not numismatic value. However, collectors may be able to negotiate with some dealers to get a fair price for their coins. And then lastly, well not, la not lastly, uh, thirdly, this type of investor hoards gold and silver bullion as savings for their retirement or to pass down wealth to future heirs. But why? save gold for retirement? Why, sell, why save silver for retirement? Well, in an environment with low or close to zero interest rates and high inflation, um, savings accounts become worthless and inert since savers earn just grains as interest. Naturally, investors Investors turn to slightly riskier assets like the stock market or other assets that yield passive income. But 
savers purchase gold and silver instead. They do this to protect their wealth against high levels of inflation, national debt, currency erosion, political flip-flops, and economic meltdowns. The problem that this type of stacker can encounter due to this strategy is theft since they are hoarding their stack at home they might get burgled and lose all their savings alternatively they can store their gold and silver at um, royal mint vault but that incurs storage fees and also doesn't provide assurance against gold co confiscations if it happens again and lastly we have mixed or versatile stackers um, this type of stacker falls in all three of these types of stackers they have elements of all the aforementioned uh, stackers um, some of them could be flippers and collectors at the same time or do all three of the aforementioned activities flipping collecting and saving now what kind of problems can a versatile stacker face well by being a multiple type of stacker they burden themselves with issues that each type of stacker faces therefore they need to have a robust ex exit strategy so that they are able to liquidate their stack easily when it comes time to sell so yeah guys um, that's pretty much about it um, I hope this video has helped you understand what kind of stackers exist in this community and hopefully it will it will help you decide what kind of stacker you might want to be in the future um thank you for watching